mechanics and our friend Newton. Good friend Newton. Ready? No. Come on, what's what's the problem? Uh, <laughs> okay. Newton's tree log, please. You've already seen one of the laws, Newton's second law. What's that? F, F equals M A. Okay. Now, we have to start. Uh, okay. So, there are three laws. Gray, it's, it's because you're on your phone. Come on. You make me angry like Hulk. You know Hulk? Mm -hmm. I do know Hulk. No. He turns green. Ah, ah, yes. What's the Hulk. Ah, yes, that's what I said. Hulk. Okay. All right. You got it? Yes. Right. Newton's first law says that if a body is at rest, it will stay at rest, or if it's in motion, um, uniform velocity, that is. Um, it will stay um, in uniform motion unless it's acted on by a force. So what I mean by that is, if it's at rest, it will stay at rest unless a force acts on it. Or, if it's moving with a constant velocity, it will continue to do that until a force acts on it. Uh, so this is Newton's first law. And um, for the exam, you do need to know these three laws because sometimes they do ask you for the three laws. So this is the first law. Yep. Yeah. Yes? Okay. You don't need to draw this, but it helps you to understand the first law. So, an object is at rest, will remain at rest, unless it's acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion will continue with constant speed and direction, unless acted on by an unbalanced force. So like with the football, the ball is at rest until a force is applied and then it will continue in constant motion until another force acts on it. Yeah? Get the idea? Um, okay, so Newton's second law, you know this one already. Force is the product of mass and acceleration. F equals MA. just started a new topic, okay. Newton's tree laws. The name is Sean Patrick, like my son. Oh look here, you'll appreciate this one. For Newton's first law. Yeah, can I give you a quick one? Yeah, it's anywhere, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Relevant for Sean, maybe. Yeah, but he wants to stop that ball before it hits the net. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then he needs to be the unbalancing force, doesn't he? He's very unbalanced. <laughs> 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 
All right. Like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the second law. Um, uh, so you're kind of coming in at the start of the next lesson. We're just doing Newton's three laws. Have you got pen and paper? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you might as well just take down where we're uh, at, and then you can get the notes that you missed later. Okay. Yeah, um, so this is Newton's three laws. Did you write down the second law? Yeah. Okay. So as a picture, um, the force is a product of mass and velocity. Yeah. Okay. So last law, Newton's third law. So Newton's third law, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay. So write that one down, please. Yeah, if I say Shamu, is that close enough or yeah. way off? Yeah, it is close How do you enough. spell it? S H E R W N. Shamu. Oh, you can call it back to that one with me. Patrick? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I just actually need you to move a couple of seats so I can see the person behind you. So just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I can go to the end. It doesn't have to be the very end. I'll do it. Uh, so you must think carefully now. If you tell teachers you can call, they can call you Patrick, then it'll be Patrick forever now. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's all right. Yeah. All right, so everybody, this is Patrick now. Okay. And um, you're from Pakistan, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, this is in your first class, though. You were in class, yeah, you had class yesterday, yeah, didn't you? EAT, was it? Yeah, it was. I actually didn't miss the lunch trivia, so that's what wasn't... Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, so this is in your first class. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, all right, did you write this down? Yeah. Uh, I'll just tell you first, though, the person behind you is a troublemaker. You stay away from her. <laughs> Trouble. No? no. Uh, all right. Uh, next now, so this is a, an example of the third law. So air is pushed out of the back of the balloon and the balloon is pushed forward. So this is action and reaction. Okay. Yeah? Alright. Right. Um some definitions, more definitions. The reaction force is the force provided by the reactant object. So what does that mean for this example here?
Can I do this one? No? Yeah. So, for this example, um, there is your tabletop, there is your block, or what is it? Uh, a block. Nothing exciting. Uh, 20 kilograms. So, as you know, there's a weight force down here of W. That should equal mg, which is 20 times 9.81. 20 times 9.81. So that's 196.2 newtons. But of course, that's not the only force on it, because if that was the only force, it would start to move down. So there must be a balancing force upwards called the reaction force, and this must equal 196.2 newtons as well. Otherwise, the block would move. Actually, Patrick, now, so I don't forget, um, do you know what Moodle is? No. Has anyone talked to you about Moodle? No. Anybody want to explain it to him? No. Yes? Go on, tell them. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe it's not as good as that. Um, it's a, a website that has notes and homework. Yeah, it's the school's website where we put the notes and resources and stuff. So you want an account to this. So what you need to do to get an account is you need to email me. You need to email me and um, just put Moodle as the subject. And the, I need three things from you to make your account. I need your email, your full name, and your date of birth. If you give me that, I'll make your account. That's okay. Uh, send me an email. Uh, whenever you get a chance to. Whenever, yeah. No rush. Um, I mean, if you make it today, then I will try to make your account today. All right, next question. Yes? Okay. Right. Uh, so write this one down, please. So much English. Oh, did you finish your presentation? No, no. <laughs> did you start it yesterday? No. No. It's for tomorrow, right? <laughs> First do everything else, then do conclusion. Um, are you doing your presentation in EAP class? Mm -hmm. And who's your EAP teacher normally? No, I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Oh no. Demi. Well, Kamal Demi. and Dennis? Or Kamal? Kamal is the main guy. But the time that you have tomorrow, who is normally teaching you at that time? Maybe Kamal. Dennis is normally teaching. Dennis is today. Today is Dennis. Tomorrow Kamal? That's good news for you. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. But it's, it's going to be more than one teacher, so yeah. not so much of a big deal. Look directly at Dennis. Yeah. Because Dennis asks nice questions, you know, <laughs> like, what have you learned? Uh, what would you like to learn? Things like this. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Bad question.
So he said, explain it to me in other ways. Yes. Uh, and, and they have most, uh, very, for more time, I don't. They try to make it up. Yes, I understand. Uh, Which uh, student was this? Science student. Yeah. Okay, do you have this? No. Not yet. So what's happening here in this example uh, the block is how much should I say? 200, 200 kilograms. Okay. Now there's a weight of course which is mg uh, so if we calculate it 200 g so this is 1962 newtons. But in this one, there are two forces going up. There's a reaction force, or, and there's a force of a man pulling it up of uh, 1,000 newtons. You know what a man looks like. Uh, now, um, in this one the idea is the same, the block doesn't move, so that means R plus 1000 must equal 1962. Oh, hmm. No, it must be balanced because if it was, if it was less then it would be moving down or up, yeah. Uh, so then R must equal 962. Newtons. Yeah. Uh, for this question, the question was longer than the answer I know, <laughs> but it's good for your English. Yes. Okay. Next example. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hang on, hang on, you don't have to write it all down. I can draw the picture for you, okay? Um, and then there's this one and this one. Okay, one, two, three more questions. Um, I'm going to do this one at the end because it's longer. So I'll do the shorter ones first. So this one here, you don't need to write the information. It's just like the last one except the rope makes an angle of 45, okay? <coughs> so, in fact, I'll just um, <coughs> change this one. So this time, the rope is at an angle of 45, but it's still 1,000 newtons. So the man is pulling this way. The angle here is 45 degrees. So there's a force this way, and there's a force this way. This is 1000 cos 45, as you know. So that is 707.1 newtons. Uh, let me read actually the question, 707.1 newtons. So here, yeah, again, whoops, sorry. I want the OR. So this time, or plus 707.1, what should that equal? 1962. So the or here is 1962 minus that. So that is 1255 newtons. Is this block moving though? No. Are you sure?
it is moving because in the question it says he's dragging but if you look at the picture look at the forces look this force cancels this force but there's now a force to the right is there any force to the left no, no. there might be friction i didn't say so the block is actually moving this way yeah in fact if you wanted to you could calculate the acceleration do you know the mass of the block Yes. Do you know the force? Yes, 707. So could you know the acceleration? Easily. Okay. And next example? Yeah. So in the next one, it is the same, except I don't tell you the mass. So it's the same picture this time but I don't tell you the mass. So here, the only thing we don't know is this mass, so I'll just call it M. So here, we don't know the mass. So I'll just say MG. Um, okay. And most importantly, which is different to this question, which you should note, please, the block moves at a constant speed. So I'll write that down here. The block moves at a constant speed. And also what's different in this question is there's some friction force here. I'll just call it D as well. Okay, so these are all the forces. So I'll just scroll down a little bit. So let me just draw this again. There are four forces. Going up is R plus 707.1. To the right is 707.1. Going down is Mg. And going left is the friction force, the drag force. Now, because the block moves at a constant speed, which of Newton's three laws is that one? Uh, um, first, second, or third? First. First. <laughs> but there is no A. Yeah, it's moving at a constant speed. Newton. So Newton's first law says it will move at a constant speed if there's no net force. So Newton's first law says that the up force must equal the down force. They must cancel and the left force must equal the right force, they must cancel. So it can move at a constant speed. So Newton's first law says that R plus 707.1 must equal mg, and D must equal 707.1. And my question was, what is the friction force and what is the reaction force? Okay, so you can see here, this is the uh, reaction force. Uh, sorry, the uh, friction force. And the reaction force, what will that be? That will be mg minus 707.1. Yep. Can we know what the exact number is here? No, because I don't know what the M is. So the answer just stays like this. Yeah. I suppose I could have changed it and put in a number, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, seven. Um, 
Right, okay. Um, can I continue? Yes? Yes, okay. Right, so now uh, this long one. So we'll finish on this one. Uh, again, it's a lot to write down, so I'll just draw it for you. You don't need to write it down. Uh, a weighing scale measures reaction rather than weight. You place a half kilogram book on weighing scales. The weighing scale is then lifted vertically up in the air with acceleration of one and then is dropped onto the table. All right, I'm going to change that. It's too long. Too long, right? We'll make it shorter. Um, and you know what? I'll give it a number here. Uh, and uh, here it is here. Weighing scale really measures the reaction person the turn, the book is placed vertically on the weighing scale, the weighing scale is then lifted vertically up in the air with and then uh, what would the what would the reading on the weighing scales be as it is accelerating up? Okay. Right. So I'll change it a little bit. So you all, you all have a weighing scale at home, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the weighing scale, what unit is on it? Kg. Kg. Now, in fact, it really shouldn't be kg. Yeah. It should be newtons because it's measuring weight. But in fact, it's not even measuring weight. It's measuring reaction. Let me explain. So for example, here's your weighing scales, weighing scales, ah, you know what it looks like, okay. So if I put one kilogram on it, your weighing scale says one kilogram, right? But it's a weight, so it really should say what? Yeah, about 9.81 newtons. But what would happen to the weight if I gently lift this? Now, please note, I don't take it off the scale. So, for example, imagine this is one kilogram, and I put it on the weighing scale. It will say one kilogram. It should really say 9.81 newtons. But if I gently lift this, but still, <laughs> still leave it on the table, what would happen to the number here? Decrease. Decrease, yeah. So it's not measuring the weight, it's measuring how much the weighing scale is pushing up on it. Okay? And what would happen if I push down on it? It increased because the weighing scale is reacting more. You get the idea? So my weighing scale uh, should really say Newton. Your one will say kilogram. Okay? So what's happening here? Um, It's half a kilogram, okay. So for this question here, uh, this is actually not one kilogram, but rather it is um, 0 0.5 kilograms. So you can, you can draw this. And then what happens is I move all of this up in the air at one meter per second squared. So before I do the question, what do you think will happen to the number? Increase, Increase or decrease? Increase. <laughs> Let's see. So uh, you're saying, Patrick? Increase or decrease? Decrease. 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 
If I move this up, what will happen to this number on the weighing scale? Will it increase or decrease? What do you think? Decrease? Same number. Same number, good. Another option. What do you think? I think it'll increase. It'll increase? Increase. increase. It will increase. It'll increase. Uh, because uh, what's happening is it's like uh, the weight is pushing in more. Uh, well, we'll calculate exactly that, yeah. So if you have this here and you're pushing up. So it will feel a little heavy? It like, feels heavier. Mm -hmm. It feels heavier. Let's yeah, calculate it. Under. Under the weighing scale. Um, under the weighing scale? Yeah, so here's the weighing scale and then here's the weight. And you're pushing it up together. Yeah? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Um, okay, so let's have a look here. Um, so let me just draw it again, but kind of simpler diagram. Uh, so here it is here. There are two forces acting on this. The weight going down, which will be 0 0.5 G, which is 0 0.5 times 9.81, which is 4.905 Newtons. Half a kilogram times G. The weight is mg. No, no, I'm just calculating the weight. Is mg. The weight is mg, which is this. This is the weight. But the mass has to be in kilograms, right? Yes. I said it was half a kilogram. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Uh, this picture's messed up. It's half a kilogram. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's okay? Mm. All right. Now, uh, there's a force going up. Like, if you're looking at the weight... Oh, my pictures are so ugly. Um, if you're looking at the weight, it has... It's four point... No. What did I say it was? Four point yeah, four point nine oh five newtons. And there's a reaction force going up here. You don't know what this reaction force is. Is it bigger or smaller than four point nine oh five? Equal. No, not equal. Smaller. Smaller. But it's not moving. It is moving, it's moving up at one meter per second oh, squared. Okay, so it'll be bigger. Yeah. No, it'll be smaller, the upward force will be sorry, yes, that's what Amanda said. Smaller. So the ore should be smaller than 4.905. So what is the total force? Or minus 4.905. And will this equal zero? No. In fact, it equals the total force. Yeah? Do we know the M? We do. MA equals or minus 4.905. What's the A? One, very good. And the M, 0 0.5. So the reaction force, let's calculate it, 0 0.5 minus 4.905. Oh, sorry, 0 0.5 uh, plus 4.905. Five point four oh five newtons. So we're nearly finished. Next part? I need to scroll down a little bit. Yes? Can I? Ah, because if R was equal to four point nine oh five, it won't be moving. If R is smaller than this number, it will be moving up. And if oh, oh no 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 sorry sorry of course and I can see it's bigger right here. Sorry, Amanda confused me. Is this supposed to be four point nine or five minus R? Or should be bigger than this, in which it is. Yeah. Okay. Next.
for? Because <laughs> it's going up. So like if you have this here. Ah, uh, so we have so the I <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay, can I do the next part? So if I just move down, the W will be bigger? Yeah, the R will be smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can I go down? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So this number here will be important. So for example, if remember at the start I have 0 0.5 kilograms, what's the weight? It is um, 4.905. Here, I don't know what the weight is, but the weighing scale thinks the weight is 5.405. So it thinks it's bigger than it should be. How much bigger? Well, let's calculate as a percentage. The weighing scale thinks um, it's 10% bigger because the reaction force is 10% bigger. So it won't say 0 0.5 kilograms anymore. It will say 0 0.55 kilograms. So as the weighing scale is being moved upwards, the weight will appear to be 10% bigger, which means the weighing scale thinks the mass is 10% bigger. If this was going down, what do you think the result would be? Less. Yeah, maybe about 45 kilograms. Now you can do this at home. Does anyone live on campus? Great. Do you have a weighing scale in the bathroom? No. You could get a weighing scale, take it into the lift, stand on the weighing scale. The lift is like a really slow, so I don't think that would be a big difference. Mm, I think you'll notice it. Start at the ground floor and go to the top floor. As you go up, you should see your weight uh, increase. Yeah. And then as you go down, stop, it will go back to normal. Mm -hmm. And then if you go back to the ground floor, it will decrease. Mm -hmm. No weight scale? No. <laughs> no. Good. Let's see how fat I am. How did I feel? Yeah, but just travel downwards and it will be less. Yeah. Uh, OK. Um, I can close this now. Yeah. So let's see what you had to do. No, 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 no. Your homework <laughs> now. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. But well, let me put. Let me put your homework up. Right. You can, the questions are short, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah. I expect two hours to do these. Two hours? No. <laughs> take a picture of these questions. You did that already? Yeah. Oh great, okay. Uh, can I close this now? Yeah.